And welcome everybody to the tutorial on Digium Switchbox desktop soft phone. Today we're going to be covering recording calls and retrieving those call recordings. So let's get started. First, we're going to put in the URL of our Switchbox and get logged into it. If you're logged in already, that's okay. Just follow along. Hit connect. If I could spell today. So I'm going to go ahead and log in with my extension. Click sign in. Going to get a certificate error. Most installations are going to have these. It's just not cost effective to install a legitimate certificate on the phone system. Go ahead and hit yes on that. So then we'll quickly see that I'm logged in. So I am going to go ahead and turn the volume on my phone down and then go ahead and place a call. So I'm going to get that call going. I'm going to mute that call. And then I'm going to go up here. This little button right beside the hang up button is the record button. So we're going to click it. So while it's going, it is recording the call. So I'm going to unmute. All right, so now that we've recorded a little bit, we can go ahead and stop the recording. You can just hang up if you're done with the call. Go ahead and hang up that call. And then we are done with these soft phone apps. We can get it out of the way. Next, we're going to log in to the web interface of our Digium system. And your URL will be different than mine. For example, mine is your pbx.url. So I'm going to go ahead and log back in with my extension. I'm going to get to the user management page. So for here, we're going to go just like we're checking a voicemail. So we're going to hover over voicemail and fax. We're going to go to mailbox. Here's where all of our messages are going to be. So we're going to click this drop down that says inbox. And then we're going to go to call recordings. So as you can see here, this call, my number shows up here, the date I recorded it, and how long that recording is. And if you click the little play button there, you can download that and save that to a file or send it as you need. It comes in a WAV format. Well, that is it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Be sure to leave a like. Thanks.